Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna open another box. Uh, this time, it is going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku. That's right, this is from Dragon Ball GT, and a lot of people didn't like that anime. That's the non-canonical anime because Akira Toriyama had nothing to do with it. Kind of agree with that, GT is not my favorite one, but I have to say, the Super Saiyan 4 looks pretty cool and I think Super Saiyan 4 is the best part of Dragon Ball GT. Maybe you agree with me, maybe not, whatever the case might be, let's open it up. I guess I didn't know. And as always, I'm gonna show you the box from every possible angle. First the front, okay, this sticker right here on the box that says Dragon Ball GT, this is one of the side, okay, this is what it looks like from the back, the other side of the box, okay, and on the top, always look for the Toei animation sticker, which is pretty much a certificate that you figure it is not a fake one, and lastly, the bottom of the box. Personally, I like to open my boxes from the bottom, but in this particular case, it is not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to do the top. All right, one, two, and the third one is a little tricky. All right, now we're ready to continue. And right before I open it, uh, let me just show you the box. It has a picture, all right? Uh, the side and also inside, like on the bottom. And we gotta remove more stickers, okay? It's like very secure. Cover. Oh man, this looks awesome. Okay, so we got more plastic. One base that goes right on his foot. Not always necessary, but it's good to have it. And his tail comes comes off. And we gotta stick it in from the back. Nothing too hard. All right, let's take a look a little closer. I have to say, I really love the way it looks. Definitely the paint job is like pretty great because to me, it seems like he was just taken out of the anime. As you can see right here. There you go. So look at that hair. He has some sort of like shadows also on the face. And the skin is kind of rough right here which I think is pretty cool you can see the texture and that's the base right there you don't really need it but um, it's just good to have it like I said earlier just in case This is what it looks like from the back. Okay, I'm gonna get closer. I have to adjust uh, right there, there you go. You can see a lot of detail pretty much everywhere. 
uh, most of the Van Presto uh, figures, they do a really good job uh, when it comes to detail. And like I said, this one, I really like the, the way it was painted. I'm gonna get a little closer on that tail, which is removable. Let me see. There you go. So it is, um, it is, it is pretty rough, but uh, it's supposed to be, because it is a monkey tail after all. Well, supposed to be. You know what I meant. Okay, let's move it to one side. Right here. There you go. I don't know yet how tall he is. But uh, we're going to find out. So definitely it looks pretty cool. All right, it measures 13 inches, almost like exactly. So it has a pretty good size. And from uh, and from fist to fist, it's about six inches, more or less. So this should give you an idea. All right, guys, that's it for today. I want to say thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are thinking about buying this figure or perhaps you already have it just let me know down in the comments also please do not forget and subscribe to the channel i appreciate that support and i'll see you very soon in another video and until then choc calamano